Hey guys, what's up? It's me, San Francisco. Okay, sobrang tagal kong hindi nakagawa ng video. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, so nung October kasi sobrang naging busy ako. And then nung November naman, nung first week, nagkaroon ako ng sakit. I was not expecting that. Okay, so nagkaroon ako ng sipon. Okay, so ngayon okay na yung pakiramdam ko. So much better na. And then, ayun, dapat kasi i-review ko yung uh, lip slip ng Happy Skin. So, dapat actually, meron akong bagong uh, video last week. Kaya lang, yung day na i-film ko yun, nagkaroon ako ng sakit. So, hindi ako nakagawa ng video. Let me know if you still want me to review that product, okay? In today's video, I'll review the latest BLK product. Ito yung Airy Matte Foundation Powder nila. Okay, so it's a base product. And alam nyo naman ako, pagdating sa base product, eh, sobrang interesado ako lagi dyan. Curious ako lagi dyan. So, I'm like really excited to try this product kasi pagdating sa base product, eh hindi pa naman ako na-disappoint sa BLK Cosmetics. Ganun ito papatagalan. If you are interested in this video, just keep on watching. So, let's start. For this product, naisipan kong kunin yung set. Yung set na ito is meron na siyang powder brush. We have something like this. Ayan, ganito yung itsura ng powder brush. Papakita ko sa inyo yung close-up later. Okay, so naisipan kong kunin ito para meron kayong idea or bigyan kayo ng idea kung mag-work ba ng maayos itong product na powder na to dito sa brush na to. O maganda ba yung itsura niya? Okay, so tingnan natin kung worth it bang bilhin ng set or ito na lang ang inyong bibilhin. For this product, ganito yung itsura ng kanyang packaging. Okay, so the packaging na pansin ko, very minimal na lang sila. Okay, so very nude, very muted. Okay, so I love the packaging. Okay, simple lang siya. Pero ang napansin ko dito sa ganitong packaging ng BLK ngayon is very tahimik na sila. Like, tahimik in a way na hindi na loud yung colors, like hindi na black. Gets nyo ba yun? Like, very in line na siya sa BLK Universal na theme. Pansin ninyo? Ewan ko, parang iba na yung approach ng BLK ngayon. So, kung makikita nyo, very nude, very muted. Personally, I don't mind that at all as long as malinis ang design, kahit ganun yung color. Na-appreciate ko yun. Ngayon, sa loob naman ng product, we have something like this. Meron tayong puff applicator. Napakita ko sa inyo ng malapitan ang puff applicator. Puff applicator feels smooth, not that bouncy, and it is not thick at all. In my opinion, perfect ang kanyang size, just like the applicator from a cushion product. My concern here is, is it going to pick up product from the powder foundation? Because the applicator is a bit different from what I'm used to. Usually, applicators from a powder foundation is like a sponge. But this one, it's different. The applicator feels like it's from a loose powder. So, sa shades nila, alam nyo naman mga size pang kundi tatlo, dalawa, kundi dalawa, apat. Okay. So, yung shades nila dito is meron tayong vanilla, yun yung lightest, chestnut, yung darkest, and then butterscotch naman yung middle shade nila. Okay, so share ko lang sa inyo yung mga shades ko from their base product. Okay, so... So, ang aking base product na shade sa BLK Foundation, Chestnut, and then for the um, Skin Tint Sun Shield, Almond yung aking shade. Product feels very smooth, airy, and the coverage is sheer. I can definitely say that this is going to be a lightweight powder foundation. As for the finish, you can see a slight sheen after blending the powder, which is interesting because this product is called Airy Matte Powder Foundation. So let me share something about the brush. You can see while I was swirling the brush sa product, and napansin nyo naman na it's definitely picking up a lot of product. Bigyan nyo ng the end, or hindi nyo bigyan ito ng the end, maraming transfer or product transfer na napupunta sa brush. Ang problema is, nung in-apply ko na ito sa aking kamay, eh, nawala yung product. Okay, so basically, parang napunta dun sa dulo ng brush yung product. So, tendency, maraming nasasayang na product. Thank you. 
Nakaset na yung powder sa aking face. Ang napansin ko, sa applicator na to, pantay-pantay yung distribution ng color. Like yung shade, pantay-pantay siya. Nag-blend ng maayos yung shade na butterscotch sa akin. Actually, natakot ako kasi akala ko magiging super yellow siya. Pero sobrang pantay lang yung medium skin tone sa butterscotch. Okay, so akala ko magiging light siya kasi middle shade yung butterscotch. Pero hindi ako na-disappoint. Maganda yung shade for medium skin tone. Napansin ko naman na gumamit na ako ng brush, medyo nagkaroon ng problema. Napansin ko dito sa area kung saan ako nag-conceal. Naglagay kasi ako ng concealer dito at saka dito. And dun sa brush na yun, naging patchy and cakey tignan yung area nandito ko. Like medyo hindi sila pantay-pantay. Hindi maganda yung distribution ng powder product dun sa applicator. That's why nag-create siya ng parang... Hindi naman siya parang nagka-crack eh. Pero alam niyo yun, hindi talaga siya pantay-pantay. And parang sobrang dry ng itsura niya sa aking face. Yun yung napansin ko nung nag-apply ako ng brush. Meron pa rin areas dito na parang nag-glow siya. Okay, dito, saka dito, at saka dito na. Ayan, parang medyo may glow na siya. Ewan ko kung nakikita niyo, pero meron ng glow dyan. It is definitely lightweight and airy. Maganda yun. Kaya lang, yung ayaw ko is yung parang shimmer effect pag tinignan nyo na malapitan yung inyong skin. Taposin ko na yung makeup ko and share ko na sa inyo yung final thoughts ko. On to my final thoughts. Okay, so akala ko, madidisappoint ako sa shade na butterscotch kanina kasi nakita naman natin doon sa applicator, very yellow yung product transfer niya. So medyo natakot ako. Pero na na-apply ko na siya sa aking face, ang gandang lumitaw, ang ganda ng shade. Okay, so really perfect ito for medium skin tone. Kung nandun kayo sa medium skin tone, ito yung shade para sa inyo. Huwag kayong matakot na itry itong shade na butterscotch sa lahat ng nasa medium skin tone. Eh hindi porke si Anne Curtis yung nagmodel ng butterscotch, eh magiging light yung color ng butterscotch. Okay, so hindi siya light. Swear, maniwala kayo sa akin kasi hindi light yung complexion ko. Nandun ako sa medium-medium. Ayan, ganyan yung shade ko. Or looking for a full coverage na powder foundation na di hindi niya na kailangan ng base product, ito ay hindi para sa inyo. Okay? So, wala kasi itong masyado talagang natatakpan. And yung coverage niya is sheer lang. Kasi ang description ng BLK kasi is medium coverage. Medyo hindi ako masyado naniniwala doon. Kasi napansin ko, nagiging medium coverage lang itong product na to dahil meron tayong base product. Okay, so gets? Dahil yung base product nyo, meron na siyang coverage. And ito namang powder foundation, meron din siyang coverage. Combine nyo siya, magkakaroon ng medium na coverage. Pero if you're going to use it alone, like the product, like the powder, hindi siya magkakaroon ng medium na coverage. Itong applicator na to, dito ako na bilib, okay? So, iba kasi yung texture niya, iba yung feels niya, pero ito yung mas nag-work when it comes to like their powder foundation, okay? So, ito kasi yung ganitong klaseng um, applicator, it's very para siyang loose powder yung applicator niya. Okay, so hindi din naman kasi siya parang ganito, like yung para siyang cushion, spongy na vibes. Ito kasi very, para siyang may balihibo na ewan. Hindi naman balihibo, pero iba yung feeling niya talaga. Okay, so compare it to like this kind of applicator from a cushion prong. Now for this applicator, I thought I was gonna like this applicator kasi maganda yung quality niya. It is soft, it is smooth, pero hindi siya nag-work. Like yung product transfer ng powder foundation dito is sobrang ang dami, pero marami pa rin naman nasasayang. Like pumupunta lang siya dito. And alam niyo yan, masyado siya nagiging concentrated dito sa area na to na tipong pag in siya sa face ninyo, eh parang dun na lang siya nagsistay like gets. Kaya din siguro naging cake and naging patchy yung area ko dito. Hindi ko talaga ito nagustuhan. 
Okay, ang ganda pa naman niya, aminin niyo, di ba? Very sinaunang panahon. Now, masasuggest ko na gumamit na lang kayo ng ganitong klaseng brush. This one is from Eco Duos and this one is called Precision Foundation Brush. Okay, so yes, it's a foundation brush. Pero ginagamit ko kasi ito for powder. Ayan, nagsiset ng powder, nagbibake kasi there are certain areas dito sa aking face. Dito yun, nilalagay ko yun dito. So, medyo maganda yung effect nito. Hindi siya ganun kalambot. Maganda yung effect niya. <laughs> Sorry, nag bounce back yung powder sa mukha ko. Anyway, mas maganda gumamit ng ganitong klaseng brush compare it sa ganitong klaseng brush. Okay, so pero kung papapiliin ako, mas gagamitin ko yung unang applicator. Like yung talagang applicator ng powder foundation. That's it! Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this makeup video. Kaya may namiss ko kayo. <laughs> if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. See you again next time. Bye!